Hello guys and girls and welcome back to City Skylines with me, Biffa, with the real-time Rush Hour mod. And thank you very much for joining me. And also thank you very much for all the well wishes on my last few videos. I mentioned about how it was our wedding anniversary and we normally have a big sort of family day type stuff that goes along with that. We all give gifts to each other, of course, and cards and things like that. And uh, yeah, just sort of took the weekend off, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, had a nice weekend together with the family so i pre-recorded some videos over the weekend and i know some of you out there aren't very good at listening could i had some comments saying well you didn't do what i commented last time number one i don't have to do what you've commented number two i pre-recorded so there we go get with the program yes do people still say that i just said it get with the program so there we go anyway we are back with our city it's monday morning and I'm aiming to get this up to you on Monday, hopefully at the normal sort of time. If it's a teeny bit late, you'll forgive me. It, it was a time in weekend, but lots of fun. And uh, the kids are like watching TV. And uh, yeah, I've come to work. So we are going to dive into our city and we are getting very... I don't know what we're following here. <laughs> we're following something that's a bit herky-jerky. We are going to be... Let's zoom away from this. We are going to be aiming to get to 9,000. We are close. And we are going to help them by dropping down the tax, which means we'll get a little bit less money. Let's speed things up. But we are earning money. We're doing okay. So if we lose a little bit along the way, I'm not going to be overly concerned. We'll just sort of see how that goes. But hopefully we can increase... Yeah, look, there we go. It's already going up. These things have all reset as well again, which is rather annoying. So let's have a look. We've got plenty of spaces for people to move in. Which is good. And what have we got over here? We've got... Yeah, this is pretty much full up. A few odd little spaces there. What do we get when we hit 9,000? Let's just take a look at this. We are going to get monorails. These ones here. Ah, oh, these policies. Rubbing my hands in glee. I really want these. And I want to get a train track attached to the outside. So we can start getting tourists in and really earning money. Cable cars would be nice. Whether we'll actually get around to doing anything with those or not, we'll just see. Because it's all about trying to make as much money as possible. So we get all the train stuff. Normally, once you get to this sort of size, even prior to this in the game, you've got so much money, you were literally just chucking things down willy-nilly. There's a word for you. Willy-nilly. Have you ever heard that one before? I'm sure you have. Uh, yeah, and you're just throwing things down, and it makes no difference at all. Um... So, oh, we're still making money even though our, our tax rate has gone down. Well, that's quite good. Still not people moving in. Let's drop that again. Let's put it down to six. I'm going to drop the industry one as well. Try and encourage a bit of industrial growth for jobs. There we go. It's growing again. Uh, while that is going away, going along, I just want to hmm, very carefully. Hey, National Park has reached level three. We'll have a look at that in a moment. Where's the roundabout? Just got to be careful here because of this. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. If we come into this one, do move it mods. Take, I want to get this bit of the tube under here. That connection. Will it let me get that connection there? I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll do that. And we'll do that. And we'll just move it down. Let's pause the game. Let's move it down. Is it letting me move it down? It's not letting me move it down. Okay, I need to get that little round bit there it's not going to let me is it darn it okay we'll have to sort of deal with that doing that i'm trying to basically put in here and let's close that one up there brush eyes, brush strength there we go that will do take whoa mama we'll go with that one and we'll do that would that be okay yeah it doesn't sort of overlap there okay that's fine well let's undo that let's go back Oh, I'm doing move it mod. I want to undo this one. Do There we go. I want to put some flowers in first. So let's do that. 8, 7, 6, 9. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Uh, no flowers in there. This is the one we want. Or should we have trees around this round? Let's have trees around this roundabout. What should we go for? Mm, let's go for this one here. Let's go for the circle. Let's try and get the midway point, which I think is about there. And go like that. That will do nicely. Yep, there we go. We'll get rid of that. Oh, still not a huge amount of growth. 
Tell you what, we'll drop this one down as well, because of course the spaces that we have are actually for high density growth, aren't they? Yeah, we'll see whether that helps. And then we'll grab this one, and then we'll grab that one, and we'll go right click once, twice. There we go, we'll do that, and then we'll get that height, and we'll spin that around. There we go. Oh, that's really deep, and then we'll get some water in there. I'm going to pause when I do this. Thank you, water tool. So it doesn't go everywhere. Let's make that that size. Just to help the fire helicopters, when we have them on, they will have somewhere to go to get water. And then we'll bring this down. And we're looking at this white line there. So that should be okay. Let's see what happens. It always floods a little bit and then it goes back down again. Oh, careful. There we go. Excellent. And we've got some water there. A nice little roundabout. And we could do some similar things over there as well. We're not really growing much. Let's put in some more. Let's just slow things down a bit. Let's just put in some more low-density houses somewhere to try and help with this. Uh, before we do that, we've unlocked some things on Obelagi National Park. So let's take a look at that. Parks and plazas, national park. What do we have? Well, we had up to here before. We've got these now, the viewing decks. Now, how big is the park area here? It actually takes in this whole waterfront. So we could put these viewing decks down here. Cannot build on water. Oh, I thought it was a water viewing deck. So, viewing deck for things in the National Park. Oh, okay then. We'll view this uh, We'll view this area over here. And I want to add, like, a cave that people can come and... Yeah, let's have a look. Let's add some caves in over here. Uh, I think they are under one of these. I can never remember which one. This one here. No, it's the rock one, isn't it? Yeah, here we go. Let's grab... So, we've got this one here. A cave. Which is quite large. Let's maybe squeeze that. Oh, we haven't bought that square, have we? Let's squeeze it on the end here. If we go like this. There we go. We now have a cave that they can go and look at. Yep, yep, yep. Right by where they're sleeping. And then we could also put in there... One of these viewing platforms. Look at all the people coming through. It's fantastic. So we put a viewing platform there. I don't know what they're going to be viewing yet. The trees, perhaps. And then we could always add one. Got this little path that comes down here. Doesn't go anywhere. Let's add one on the end of that as well. There we go. A reason to... Oh, okay. It's got to be on the side. Uh, let's do it that way. Maybe a reason to come down here. <laughs> let's remove some of these trees a bit. There we go. So you can go and stare at those trees. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to help, but there we go. We have the tent camping site, which has been unlocked. Right, let's see a good spot for that. You don't really want to camp by the motorway. I don't think this would be too bad. If we pop that there. There we go, not far from the beginning. That looks quite nice. Yeah, we'll add that in. Oh, we've got some... Oh, wow, we've unlocked a whole load of stuff. We've got a lean-to shelter... We've got the lookout tower, and we've got another lookout tower, and then we've got camping site one and camping site one. Isn't that exactly the same thing? Oh, no, this is a slightly different... Oh, I see. All right, well, this one's going to go over here. So we're going to go like that. We're going to put it right up against the edge over there. Then we're going to grab our path. The one with all the rocks and the trees and the stuff. Yep, I know. No path access. Chill, chill. And we're going to come along here. And connect up to that. There we go. Hey, look at that one. Upgraded. This is like glamping, this is. You've got your glamping sites. For those who don't know what glamping is, it's posh camping. You don't come and stay in a tent like this. You come and stay in, like, a lovely sculpted wooden with all the amenities. I don't think it's quite glamping. You just have to come outside for the toilets by the look of it. But you're getting towards glamping there. That's not too bad. And then what we'll do... 
I do have... Look at that. It's still not people moving in. I do have the Unlimited Trees mod. So I should be able to block this area in with a few trees. Uh, let's go... Whoops. Let's go like that. Yeah. Let's get some of these along here. Just thinking, I mean, it doesn't really matter for the game mechanics, but just thinking for how it would work if it really was a posh camping site. You don't necessarily want to hear the trains coming past, do you? And we can block out the sound with some trees. So let's just add some of those in. And we might just take some of these as well. I don't think that's going to do it, is it? Might have to manually place those. Oh, there we go. Look, we'll make that a little bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. Nice little variety of trees there, our posh camping site. So we have a look at Obligee National Park. We're well over the entertainment value for the next level, and we just need people to move in. So, uh, to visit, I mean. Speaking of moving in, we need somewhere for people to move in. So, let us... We've got this little spot over here. We could definitely fill this up with some more people. We're getting some... Uh... Traffic. What's the time? 3.14. Traffic should be okay. It's been 87% this whole time. We're still doing okay. Shall I have that end there anyway? And one of these go over? Or have this one come over and go around? Um, quick sip of tea while I think. Hmm. We could have that go over. Or go through. We could have it go through. Everybody, everybody shouts at me in the comments if I don't do a level crossing. I do know what a level crossing is. I just choose quite often not to do them, thinking ahead at the uh, the possible traffic issues we may get. And of course that isn't straight, so... Oh, there we go. Can we go like that? Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll delete that one. We'll go like this. Because we haven't unlocked that square. Where's 90 degrees? Come on. That's saying that's 90 degrees from the railway line, but I want it straight with the road, so I'm hoping that works. And we'll sort of come down to there. Oh, it works near enough. It works near enough. I mean, some people say, just delete the train lines. It doesn't really matter because you, you're not... Um, you're not using the trains anyway, but... Yeah, I really didn't want to do that. Um, let's have a look. Increase land value. Let's put these ones in over here. And just so we can make use of this little space up here. They'll stop turning around at the end there soon. They will use this road instead. Hard to make too much use of this space as it's quite... Yeah, you're not going to go up there. You're going to come along there. Quite cramped, isn't it? You're going to go there. Let's have maybe... We've had nothing coming off of this main one here, have we? No, let's have... One going up there. Just didn't want to get too near to the crossing, that was all. But that uh, should be okay. We're not talking about anywhere super busy, are we, up here? Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Just a little bit of low-density housing, just to help with the growth rate. Uh, what am I looking for? This one here. Oh, okay. We're not too bad with the water. Let's go like that. Let's go like this. And then all we need... Oh, that's it. Uh, oh, we need this little bit here. Ping! There we go. Covered. Excellent. Let's put all of this as low density and hopefully get some people moving in up here. I mean, it's not, you know... This may not be the best place to live, right by the train lines. Oh, we don't want anybody along there. Mm. Let's put them at the end, like that. Yeah, away from the road. I don't think that'll actually get anybody moving in there. But we'll see how that goes. And then what we really need up there is just a small, teeny tiny little part. Oh, I think I accidentally clicked one of these buttons on here, didn't I? And changed, yeah. That was my fault. There we go. We worked it out in the end. That's what I'd done wrong. Ha ha. We could put a plaza there. What's that going to cost us? 120. Yeah, let's put a nice plaza in there after the auto save's finished. We go like that. It's like a nice little walkthrough area. We can walk from one side to the other. We'll see whether that helps. 
Oh, we're getting closer. And then I'm going to put some paths across here as well. Let's just take that. So they're not having to walk all the way around. Well, I was just going to stick a few paths in and the game crashed. Very weird, very weird. Yeah, I was going to just add some paths so they could walk down here if they so wished. Maybe just a path across here somewhere. Let's remove... Nobody wants to live that close to the railway lines. Let's remove that. Uh, that, that, that and that. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Move in there at your peril. Let us go. Um... Yeah, let's go this way. If we go up there, uh, across there, and then down there. And I bet you can sort of connect up there if I do that. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. That'll do. So they can get up and over the top if they wish. We've got a teeny tiny amount of growth. Uh, and the game isn't running at fast speed. Let's speed that up. And then power-wise, they're probably okay. Yeah, if somebody starts moving in here, we'll start spreading the power around. Well, we shall see how that goes. I'd like to try and get more industry in as well. Oh, are you... Let's have a look. You're full up. At the moment, I'm just emptying this one. I'm Rather than emptying all of them at once, I'm just going to empty the one. I think that's what happened. Yeah, look. See, now this is full up. So it only processes at 48,000 every 20 minutes. So we'd filled that up. Because these are emptying. If we stop that emptying, that will start going down a bit quicker. And then we won't have a garbage problem around the city like we had last time. So that's why it didn't send out as many trucks. Thank you for the 47,000 people that commented that for me. So let's have a look. Garbage processing status landfill. Yeah, so we actually could do with another one of those, I'm sure. And then we really could just get rid of these. Yeah, I think we need to do that. Or we could go for another recycling centre. That process is 24,000 every 20 minutes. I think we'll just spend the money on this. We've got the money. Upkeep 1,440. Oh, my goodness me. Hey, National Park's got level 4. Nice. Fishing cabins. Ah, that's what I was thinking of. Recycling centre is only 240 every 20 minutes. I think we're actually going to go for a recycling centre. Let's squeeze that in over here. There we go. By the trains. Oh, we're getting so close to 9,000. There we go. They're all going to go out. These aren't being used anymore. Okay, that's good. So we'll try and sort of work that down to get these emptied and delete those. That'll be good. So how are we doing over here? Oh, Drago Gardens is actually level 5 now. Fantastic. So we have probably unlocked everything for that one. Let's go back to Obelagi National Park. Hey, we've got other fireworks are going. I don't know why I suddenly said it like that. <laughs> Excellent. So they're loving coming in here. So let's see how much money that is making us. Oh, there's so many people. Nice to see a national park working. Wow, we're making so much money. Flipping it, that's fantastic. I wonder whether that's because of the fireworks at night. So that means we're not losing any money at night. And we're still growing, which is good. I'm going to drop this. Should I drop any of these down? Let's drop that down a little bit to 11. And that one to 11 as well. Let's just see. How much is the other one making us? Um, here we go. Oh, yeah. Nexon Square and Nexon Heights. Or oh, a few of you flipped your lid over that. Good grief. Go to life. So we're making 1,655 from this one. That is brilliant well we're losing a bit of money now because i put down the uh yeah so parks are good and if we've got stuff going on at night they you know get a load of money from them um walking tours and stuff how are they going let's have a look over here so the national park tour is doing okay the other walking tour is for the part we just looked at we don't have any sightseeing bus tours well let's have a look before we set up something like that um, where is the attractiveness one over here? That's what I want to see. So park maintenance, tourism, tours. Here we go. This is the one. So we can see what's really attractive or appealing. So this is quite appealing down here. What's that? That's like a little park. That's quite good. Let's get this one back again. This is now appealing over here. That's appealing, the entrance there. We've got some other little parks that are appealing. We could do like a little park walking tour, walk around these little parks. I mean, it doesn't cost us any money. I 
I don't know whether these actually make us any money. Do they make us any money? Am I missing something? Let's just have a quick look over here. Uh, let's have a look over here. Sightseeing, bus tours and other. Okay, so at the moment it's not. But when they're running, there is a percentage of them that is going to make us some money. Okay, that's fine. Right, we are so close to hitting 9,000 and getting our trains in. Let's just have maybe have a look and plan where we could add our trains in. Let's have a look at this. So the orange is the train line that comes in. And it comes up over here. So I mean somewhere here is that's I mean that's quite out of the way, but we do have our bus. Where are we? We do have our bus depot here and a metro. So we could have a train station there for tourists coming in and out. That could be good. And then we could also hook up how much is it going to cost us? Oh, we can't really see yet. One to this area for any extra, any extra, you know, oil and ore and stuff we've got like that to try and make some money from that. Maybe could be a good idea. I think we need to just put, uh, yeah, some of our budgets up a bit. We've dropped this down a little bit too far. Yay! There we go. We have hit small city. Fantastic. We've got nine thousand population. So let us put in. A couple of the train things we were talking about after we've just had a look at the policies up here. City planning. So, we get small business enthusiasts. So, low-density commercial buildings double their sales. It's an upkeep of two credits, simoleons, whatever. So, normally that works out okay. So, we're going to add that one. Big, 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 blah, 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 blah. big business benefactor. So that does the same. High density commercial doubles but cost 4C. We'll give that one a go. Industrial space planning doubles the amount of goods produced by industrial buildings. So all of this oil stuff is going to double there. That's going to cost 6. We're going to do that one. Uh, we're not going to have high tech housing everywhere. Slightly increased land value. Yeah, well, that's, that's something for another time. So we're going to do that and see whether our money overall goes up. Hopefully it will. Right, we're going to put some trains in. Just checking out on these. Oh, they're getting close to being full. Right. So, I'm still sort of half deciding. I think this will be nice as a little train area. We've got the park they can, tourists can go straight to. And then everybody else can jump on the buses or the metro. And get anywhere else they need to go. So, yeah, we're going to do it here. So, let's have a look at our train stations. All oh, money's going up. People's going up. Everything's going up. That is what we like to see. So, we've got the normal train stations at the moment. So we've got the Boutillier. Let's just check. 45,000. Upkeep of 960. We might just need to go with that because of the cost. Upkeep 1,400. Upkeep 480. Got the city station. That's the same. East Strip station's quite nice. That's a little bit cheaper, the two-track train station. Maybe we'll go with this one. I like this one. Yeah, let's go with that one. We want a little tiny bit of a bypass here. And we're going to bring this road up to over here as well. And then let's sort of see how that goes. So if we take this one here, we will go... Can you sort of just go as a normal road? Yep, thanks. Up to there... And then maybe just along to there. We'll put park in and all sorts in. We can have it... Yeah, we can have it come off there. So, let's take that one. And let's go... Let's go there. Excellent. And then we'll have this one. Connect up to that. Oh, it's weird that it's lifted it up on a... Hmm. Didn't really want it to do that. That's a bit annoying. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to do... Move it mod that, and that, and that, and that, and say that one, and make it the same height as that. Yeah, and then we can, whoops, wrong one, we can smooth that out a bit. So if we take that, and just sort of get rid of that, and that little bit there. Yeah, that's not too bad. We'll have a few little cliffs there. Yeah, good, that looks much better. So the railway line, let's just connect it up. And then we can always move it around a bit later. So we'll have that one there. Let's see. This is going to go sort of like that. Yeah, it's all a bit winky-wonky at the minute, isn't it? 
Good. And then we're going to do some move it mods. So we're going to line this up. But make sure that still stays connected there. Actually, I quite like that straight like that. If we keep it straight. Comes down straight in. Then that one can come out. Probably curve that around a bit. Let's just select that. Nope. Move it mod. That. Control H. The same height as that. Yep. There we go. It goes through like a little dip there. Excellent. We'll smooth that out a bit. Yep. That looks good to me. Fine. Then it needs water power and some parking. And then we'll see how that goes. See whether we get our first trains coming in. Very, very soon, hopefully. So we'll go all the way to the end. Uh, power. We shall use this one here. Nice little underground power thingy. Is that going to jump? It is. Excellent. So you should be happy now with the power and the stuff. Definitely connected there. Definitely not connected here. Yeah, see, that's what we've got to look out for. So if we sort of curve that back round a bit. Actually, I'm going to move that further along. Like that. There we go. And we get more of a straight and a curve. Yep, good. Pleased with that. Still complaining about power. Oh, I see. Well, oh, okay. Let's get power from over here then. Let's go there. Let's go here. Yep. Let's go there. And that will connect up nicely. Good, good, good. There we go. So that's got everything it needs for trains to come in and out. I still want to keep an eye on that. 40,000, 20,000. Oh, my goodness me. I just think we need to... Yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put in another recycling centre. Because I don't want to put any more incinerators in. They're just too expensive. Still complaining about power. What are you complaining about power for? You're connected up to there. We have lots of electricity availability. Alright, let's put another one here. Right. Power. Power, 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 power. Through there, power, power. Okay, now you're fine. It was showing as connected, but it really wasn't connected. Allow intercity trains. That is what we want. And then I want to make it easy for them to get over here and not walk all the way around. So we can have a nice path going over here. Let's just see where we can do this. Oh, I like this. Making of the money. Making of the money. Let's do a normal path. Oh, there we go. Look, we can connect to that. Where do we want to go to? Let's maybe go to there. And then we'll sort of wiggle that around to down here. to there didn't quite connect up we can do that there we go excellent so they can walk now up and over there here it comes ah oh, there goes a train so that's that connection for passengers we'll see what happens there but then also we want to get a connection for the oil and all that sort of stuff and the train line along here where does it go Here it is. It goes through there. Down here, under there. I thought it got a bit nearer. It doesn't. We could have a branch come off and put like a train up here. Let's have a look at the cargo train stations. Uh, 60,000 upkeep, 1,440. Oh, it makes me cringe. It's so much money. We might even make more. Let's pop it in. And it's one way round that way. So they can go up there, drop it off, and then come back round again as they need. And let's just see if we can put in. We've, we're limited on space here. I might... We, I mean, we, we've got so many options of squares we can buy. I might buy this square up here. Let's just take another quick look at the train line. Make sure I'm not missing it. Yeah, orange up there. Yeah, there's not another nearer one, is there? Definitely not. So I want to put a junction in here. We're going to buy this square. 7,400. We can afford it. Let's, let's buy that. And then I'm going to put a junction here. One of these little tri-triple railway junction things we've used before. Because I like them. And they work well. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, look. Passenger trains. So let's just pause a sec and delete a section here. And we're going to put this in. 
because I like it and it works well. Let's go like that. Let's connect this back up again. Let's get that one there. Actually, that can be straight. Yep, straight enough. And this one can curve. To there. And let's just make sure it's all connected up. Connected up. Connected up. Connected up. Connected up. Connected up. And this one's not connected up yet. Well, we're going to do that one now. We're going to bring that one up over the top down to there. Let's just see how we can get this to work. So if we go like this. Oh, there we go. We got it. That's fine. Yep, that's going to curve over the top there. I might just swivel that around a little bit. Just so it's a bit more of a curve. That can go over the top and go in there. That'll be fine. Oh, this needs some water. So hopefully now we're going to start seeing. Let's go up here. Cargo trucks coming in and out of this. Let's get you some power. We'll use that one. And we'll go there. Yep. Cargo trucks using that. We'll get a nice boost to cargo. Start actually making some more money. And we'll get some people. Oh, we saw the passenger train leaving there. Yep. Last 20 minutes, we've had 36 people. Look, these are tourists. Because they've got their tourist camper van. Where's he going? Going to campfire site number one. Yes, it's working already. And there's some people walking out there. Fantastic. That is what we want to see. People coming into our city via the trains. Earning us more money and growth. There we go. Look, there's another one. Excellent. Wow. What do you think of this episode? Let me know in the comments below. Hit the big B with a T stain to subscribe and be back here tomorrow for the next City Skyline. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, look, they're using the paths over here, look, to head up on over the water. Cool. We'll have to decorate that, make it look nicer. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.